boom, boom. And there we are. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is November 6, 2022. And we're doing a current events uh, live stream news, politics, economics, personal finance, investing chaos whatnot collapse <laughs> we'll see what's coming what's coming up what we're going to talk about but there's a lot going on there's a lot going on on every front on every front exciting times exciting times and uh, i think i think uh we're in the quiet before the storm believe it or not i think we're about to see another shoe drop and it's going to be in tense and it's going to have a lot of people scrambling so let's see how we can prepare for such a thing and talk about how we've come to be where we are while we wait for notifications to go out let me do my little intro uh, first time chat she know how are you doing hey chicho first time here long time follower hello from mexico mexico hello mexico how you how are you doing salutations from canada i've been to uh, mexico a couple times one time with family on the west coast puerto vallarta when i was a wee wee kid and then another time went there uh, it was actually for a university course uh, where we went to mexico city and drove across mex across from mexico city all the way to acapulco and then came back to mexico city we went to taxco uh a few bunch of other little towns we went i went to a i went to a, went into a silver mine in taxco or is it tax taxico taxco i believe the one of the oldest silver mines in mexico and we went into a silver mexican silver mine my god okay and i've gone into the deepest mine in north america in sudbury ontario and it was so different we were crouching hovered up what crawling in like little tunnels like this going into a room when there's like three or four people huddled up sitting down you can't stand up with a uh, pitchforks i could not believe it i could not believe it my god what an experience and people people do that for a living their lives mexico was amazing uh if i had to choose to live in another uh, another country uh, it would be Mexico, and I love Mexico City. So salutations. Let's pour us a beer <laughs> before we do our intro. Salutations to Mexico. I have very fond memories. Uh, local beer again, Hoy Pilsner. Uh, very fond memories of Mexico uh, and the Mexican people. Amazing times, amazing times. I really uh, felt at home there. <laughs> really felt at home there. I hope you guys got dr good drinks. Let's give it a little bit ahead. Let's give it a little bit ahead. It is morning still. <laughs> so salutations. delicious elder god sunday streams notifications sent awesome 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 spencer rice man morning chicho good morning good morning spencer see death how are you doing chicho my man good evening sir good evening to you as well see death did you come out of come out with any silver i, I did buy some silver in tax code but not in the mine not in the mine it was elder god gang I really don't think people appreciate what mines are like in um, in certain places, uh, and Mexico would be one of the better places 
to a certain degree for mining and stuff some of the other countries uh, in the global south they're even more hardcore and wow it, it was mind-boggling to me um i'm actually amazed they allowed us to go <laughs> go there uh, really really it was hot it was we all came out drenched drenched because the deeper when you go into the earth one of the first things you realize is the temperature kicks up like if you go dig a little bit down you know people people usually don't go lower than this regular people who've never been in a mine you dig a little bit down it gets a little colder but if you go further down in mine territory it gets hot and one of the things you need to do you need to have good ventilation good air circulation uh, so there was no air conditioning in mexico in the mine in taxco there was air conditioning in the mine in Sudbury, ontario uh, so it wasn't hot in Me we were drenched it was like going to a wet sauna uh for um, well i guess hot sauna because it wasn't it wasn't humid really but it was hot uh, for staying in there in the highest temperature for like two hours and we were just there for two hours right incredible the uh, the mexican silver is amazing quality by the way mexican silver is fantastic quality okay milo bay bailey milo bailey what's up Ch -ch cheers with my water cheers 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 gang thank you for coming in to our live stream novar no nova rainy pelosi was also he uh potosi was also a huge my potosi in bolivia okay for silver during the colonization of the new world and was where the spanish got like 50 plus percent of the silver in bolivia wow 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 potosi cool i didn't know that at least early on okay i went to, uh, i was in the mine in mexico in the 90s uh, so things have changed a lot since then i believe shino i'm so glad you enjoyed mexico chicho pouring one for myself too awesome awesome cheers cheers Pourquoi? how are you doing hope you're doing well hello everybody it's not morning in ottawa so you're good to go ah, awesome <laughs> has to be an afternoon or evening somewhere right uh oh my god still on a detox don't tempt me okay i won't tempt you i'll have sips off camera <laughs> no no i won't <laughs> i'll share <laughs> Nagushka, how are you doing? Finished, dude. Hello, hello. Oh my god, like a stone heated sauna. Like a stone heated sauna. Yeah, that's what it was like. Well, uh, well said. Oh my god. Let's never get to catch these live streams, but always listen to them uh, at the gym. Keep going. <laughs> well, dude. And happy workout, Liz. Happy work. I gotta go hit the gym. I've been lazy, lazy, lazy uh, for the last few months. I need to go uh, get my exercise on. Uh, Nova, there's lots of copper mines in Chile, right? Right? I, uh, yeah, South America has a lot of mines in general. Uh, we've heard uh, inequality is pretty rampant in the mining industry. Huge, huge. And for me, I also look at it from a geophysics perspective. Uh, so um, it, it's it's amazing. As in, I, I've looked at it for, as an investor perspective, as a geophysicist perspective, as someone, as a tourist perspective, to a certain degree, as a student. Uh, mining, a lot of people have their heads up their asses. All these people that are like, we we need to get out of get out of the way of. We need to stop using oil. Uh, we need to go to batteries. <laughs> shit like that then they have no idea how destructive the mining industry is right just the sheer brutality of it throughout history where the things they've done to the indigenous people to mine the minerals that they wanted to extract people have no idea no idea it's incredible it's incredible right uh, Nagushka, I heard South America is totally socialist now. Um, is it totally socialist? Uh, is it totally socialist? I don't think so. Colombia has gone as left as it 
that's ever been, I believe. Um, Lula took Bolivia under interesting circumstances. Lonely Piggy, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Salute, brother. Bolivia is definitely left. Uh, Venezuela was right when left. Now it's totalitarian to a certain degree. Um, Argentina, I don't think it's left yet. Uh, Chile is, you know, teeter totters between the two from what I understand. I'm not sure where Ecuador is right now. Uruguay, Uruguay has always been socialist, hasn't it? In large part. I need to catch up on my uh, South American uh, politics more. We need a leg hole stream, Elder God says. Ha ha. Uh, Mr. Ropadope, being from Central Texas, I feel robbed that Mexico is such a mess. It has so many advantages weather, beaches, mountains, oil, precious uh, metals, culture, food, geographic placement. The list goes on. Good afternoon from San Antonio, gang. Good afternoon, San Antonio. And I agree with you 100%, Mr. Ropado. Why is it such a mess in certain areas? Right? And tradition, going to Oaxaca, right? The shamanistic community, the, the, the tribal community, there's powerful, powerful, powerful communities there, right? I know a lot about Oaxaca because of my exploration of salvia divinorum and the uh, shamanistic realm right lark bark hey you all what's up and hey man chicho hello hello lark bark how are you doing let's cool about the hell out of africa <laughs> the god goes the gushka uh so there's still Bol uh, bolivia that's something that's something gimme agents gimme Gim, gimme, gimme. I can't pronounce it. Ah, hey, Chicho, how are you doing, gimme? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well, gang. Here's our uh, introduction. Uh, so the gang at uh, people watching on Sensor Two will know where to go. If you want to follow this work, I am on Patreon, patreoncom forward slash Chicho. I do have a subscribe star page and a Substack page, gang. For those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, on Substack, and on Twitch thank you very much for the support gang it is it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do what it is that we are doing uh, so i thank you from the bottom of my heart and as always gang as always mods thank you for the support thank you for being here taking care of business i saw the name give me a siggy that's what it is give me a siggy that's a cool name. Give me a Ziggy. <laughs> Give me a blunt. <laughs> Give me a blunt. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Moon Sage. You're you're a good decipherer. Indeed. Same here, buddy. Hell the gods. Uh gang. Uh we do announce these live streams. 30 minutes, 45 minutes before we go live on VK Gap, Mines, Getter, Parlor, BitCloud. And we'll see if we go any other platforms one that we have left a long time ago let's see let's see if there's a serious shake up on uh twitter and if there is uh what we'll do on twitter maybe is go ballistic on it and just stop dropping bombs and see if we can get banned like the way we did on TikTok. and if we don't get banned in the first month or so then i guess uh we might become active there as well we'll see we'll see gang i am recording this on a lapel mic and the audio for this live stream will be loaded on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c h y c h o as a podcast and this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify itunes and google play this live stream will not be loaded its entirety on sensor 2 okay the full live stream will be loaded on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. For those that are only consuming content on Sensor2, be careful, be careful. By the time you blink, you might be completely out of, out of lunch in regards to current events, news, politics, economics, what is making the world go round. And you'll find yourself just being propagandized to just the same way that people that only watch CNN um, are right just imagine people who only consume their news from cnn or abc or anything and look at them and 
check out the way that they perceive the world to be and the way you know the world to be you don't want to be them so you need to get away from censor two and start consuming content on new tech free speech platforms really gang dangerous times and gang we do have a gilded server our little community you're definitely welcome to come to our server our community and share information talk about whatever it is you want to talk about and uh, enlighten us or be enlightened or just have a good time aside from that gang if you're going to be watching this on sensor tube this little short intro this is it full live stream in the links in the description of this video for everybody else welcome to our live stream